On 4 News Now at 6, a teen hit by a car while crossing a busy street. Why the driver isn't being charged and tips to make your kids more visible to drivers. The weather is going to change dramatically in the coming days. I'm tracking cooler, wetter, windy weather. I'll let you know if it will affect your weekend plans in the first alert forecast. The results of a local race could have nationwide effects. We took your questions to the candidates for Washington Senate to get the answers you want before casting your ballots. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Breaking news out of the town of Lamont at this hour. A main water line is down and now a middle school principal is asking parents to send water with their kids to school. Lamont is about an hour's drive southwest of Spokane. Lamont's middle school principal said the main water line was somehow compromised today and the whole water system was shut down. He says it's impacting drinking fountains, bathrooms, dishwashers, and anything else that deals with water. He says he hopes to have bathrooms back in order tomorrow. The school will be providing water bottles to all students, but he is asking parents to pitch in by sending water bottles with their kids to school for at least the rest of the week. No word on when that water line will be repaired. A driver in northwest Spokane hit a teen crossing the road last night. Police say several kids were crossing the street when it happened. Witnesses told police the teen suddenly went into the street. Good evening, I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. The 13-year-old is expected to recover. This did happen on Northwest Boulevard and West Grace Avenue. And our Vanessa Perez is live there tonight. She has safety tips for drivers and pedestrians. Well, the sun is starting to set earlier in the day, and it's time to pay extra attention while you're out driving, biking, and riding. As it gets darker out earlier, Spokane police are reminding drivers and pedestrians to be mindful. According to public health experts, more deadly crashes involving pedestrians happen after the time changes and daylight savings time and daylight saving time ends for us on November 6th. You've got the sun in your eyes as you're heading to work. Make sure that you're taking that second peak before you make any movement. For our pedestrians, it's that time of the year that we really need to start upping our light colored and reflective clothing. Traffic safety experts stress to parents the importance of wearing a helmet. That goes for any willed activity like skateboarding and bicycling. I talk to kids all the time about how all of our cell phones have these cool covers on them to keep them protected and that's the same thing a helmet does for your brain and it's the only organ we can't fix right now besides your spinal cord. So it's so imperative that they wear the helmets. Some other tips, wear light colors, use situational awareness, and use school backpacks with reflective strips. This way, they're easily seen by drivers. If they're walking around, they need to have that situational awareness. So if you're listening to music or whatever, at least take one earbud out or earphone. That way you can hear what's going on around you and know if you need to move really quickly or not. If you're buried in your phone, it's dangerous on both ends. A new report shows distracted driving is up 3% this year. As winter approaches, you want to take the extra steps to make it home safe. And Washington law says a driver has to yield to pedestrians in a crosswalk, but that can sometimes be tricky because crosswalks can be unmarked or marked. But um, the other side of this rule is that pedestrians ha can't just abruptly walk into the street. Live in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. Now to breaking news. Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich's investigation into fraud allegations surrounding Camp Hope and homeless funding is moving forward. Knezovich sent a letter to the Washington State Auditor last week asking for audits of financing and communications regarding the homeless camp, along with Jules Helping Hands and the Guardians. He wants the audits to cover the time from December of last year, when Camp Hope started, as a protest outside of City Hall to now. Those included in the audit, Spokane, Washington Department of Transportation, Commerce and Licensing. The sheriff first talked about a fraud investigation in late September when he announced plans to clear Camp Hope. But right now, Spokane's East Central Neighborhood Council is discussing a resolution asking for the people living in Camp Hope to be removed and relocated to shelters within the city by Thanksgiving. The council is also discussing a proposed dog park in Underhill Park. We first told you about the plans last week. The council is concerned about the current walking paths, sledding hill, and natural areas that could be changed by the proposed dog park. They are also concerned about parking in the neighborhood. We have a crew at the meeting and we'll have results of the resolution vote regarding Camp Hope and the dog park discussion tonight on 4 News Now Nightside at 11 o'clock. The record-breaking heat 
soon coming to an end. And with it, a whole lot of rain. Let's send it over to Chief Cr Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to find out when it's all expected to arrive. Uh, rain that we desperately need. Uh, just take a look outside at the haze and the wildfire smoke. Rain and a change in the weather pattern will help with that. It will also bring to an end this amazing streak of warm weather we've had this month. Temperatures 70 degrees or higher. Uh, our previous record number of 70 degree plus higher days in October. Um, that banner is in the way. Way, but it says 17 under that banner. So our new record is 18. I've got to adjust that graphic. Uh, so we did set a new record today for the number of 70 degree or higher days uh, in the month of October. Thank you. Uh, and that record that's dated back to 1944. Temperatures right now after a high of 73, we are at 66 in Spokane, 66 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. We've already dropped into the 50s in Deer Park with some heavy smoke. Temperatures have stayed cooler around Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint. Air quality right in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene is in the moderate range. We did dip briefly into the unhealthy for sensitive groups range in Spokane, uh, but the real trouble spots are around that Kootenai complex fire and in the Cascades where the biggest fires are burning right now. A weekend full of cold and rain uh, may be just the ticket, uh, although it is making for an unpleasant evening in spots. Expect hazy conditions this evening. Temperatures dropping into the 50s. I'll be back with your seven day forecast and detail the timing on those changes in just a few minutes, Aaron. Chris, thank you. The search for an inmate who escaped from the Spokane County Courthouse ended within minutes. The sheriff's office says they quickly flooded the streets to try and find 38-year-old Alex Hegland. Within a half an hour, a K-9 unit tracked him down to a backyard less than a mile away. He now faces felony escape charges. A man was killed in a motorcycle crash at South Barker Road and East Sprague Avenue in Spokane Valley this morning. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office believes the man was going too fast into the roundabout, lost control, crashed, and died at the scene. The Sheriff's Office says he was driving a stolen motorcycle. The incident is still under investigation. Spokane City Council is now proposing a new tax increase. One council member says he will not vote to raise property taxes for next year. Our Peter Choi is in studio tonight to explain how that money would be spent and how it would cost taxpayers. Yeah, I had a chance to speak with Spokane City Council member Michael Cathcars today. And he says there was a council meeting to Monday and where 1% tax increase was proposed for the city's funding next year. It is not a responsible time to be raising taxes. Spokane City Council Member Michael Cathcart says due to inflation and recession, people are having difficulty making financial decisions. What are they able to pay? Which bills are they able to pay? What food can they get for their family? I mean, these are really, really tough times for some people. He says asking the public to pay more money out of pocket is not an ideal way to handle the budget. I'll reach out to other city council members for comment on the proposal. They release a statement saying they want to wait until the proposed property tax increase is up for council discussion before commenting. And Spokane County's assessor says this tax hike every year can add up quickly. But if it, if it goes up $50 to the city of Spokane over five years, you have a $250 higher tax bill. So yes, it does add up. With a 1% tax jump, if the house value goes up $65,000. The taxes are estimated to go up just less than $300 a year. The city council members will vote next Monday on whether to approve the tax increase. If council members approve, people will see a higher tax payment next February. The Spokane County Assessor says people do need to be mindful of a tax payment every year and pay attention to it. He says if people want to see a change, he recommends that contact their local representatives and of course the vote. In studio tonight, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Peter, thank you. Well, tonight the NBA season tips off. And that means plenty of former Zags and Cougars getting their season started again. Alex Crescendi will join us with more on the faces to look out for. More services are on their way to the trend shelter, but no timeline as to when those services could start. Hear what services will be offered coming up on 4 News Now at 6. And just being able to know that through all of that, through all of that fear and through all of that exhaustion on both our parts, that our son was somewhere safe.
Through the years, the Vanessa Behan Crisis Nursery has kept children safe. We'll show you the expansion plans to help more children and how you can help. That's next on 4 News Now at 6. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. Save your greed! Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. I've never liked political ads that attack, but we need to bring the facts to light. My opponent believes that 10 City has never caused an increase in crime. With Mr. Jordan, we can expect more crime, more taxes, and more regulations that make housing more expensive. I support safer neighborhoods, lower taxes, and addressing homelessness and housing. I support you, the hardworking people of Spokane, because like you, I'm one of them. Vote Kim, please, for County Commissioner. A lot of politicians like to talk big, but where's the action? Al French is a leader we can trust, and Al's results speak for themselves. Al has won funding for our roads to keep goods moving. As costs skyrocket, Al has pledged no county property tax increase. His opponent wants to give criminals a get-out-of-jail-free card, while Al dedicated more funding to the Sheriff's Department to keep families safe. I'm Al French. I'm asking for your vote so I can keep getting results for you. ask us to bring peace to the city of Spokane. How's mainstream accepts? I know you. There's something awakening in your mind. You must face your fears. Come with me. You need to be ready. This is another one of those surprise medical bills you get in the mail. I've gotten them, you've gotten them. I'm Kathy McMorris-Rogers. With inflation crushing our families, we need to put a stop to these. I support requiring hospitals, insurers, and doctors to disclose their prices so you can know the real cost and can shop around for the best care. I approve this message because no one likes surprises, especially this kind. 911, what's your emergency? I smell something delicious and I don't know what it is. Ma'am, we traced the smell and it's coming from inside your oven. Ah, amazing! Papa Murphy's. All new at 6 o'clock. Over the years, 4 News Now has been committed to sharing the mission and story behind Vanessa Behan, a 24 hour safe place for children and parents when they need help. No questions asked. And as you're seeing here, the crisis nursery, as it was once known, has transformed from its inception. What was once just a house that had the staff to care for 427 children a year is now a 32,000 square foot space that aims to triple that impact. In a conversation you'll only see on 4 News Now, we tell you why the future of Vanessa Behan all depends on you. We're both people that were never raised to ask for help. Mariah and Andrew are sitting down with us for an open conversation. What does it feel like to ask for help? You know, it's, it's, it took a lot, you know, but um, I think Vanessa Behan actually kind of made it easy. For over 30 years, Vanessa Behan has stood as a lighthouse in the Inland Northwest for parents and children dealing with domestic violence, homelessness, illness, and exhaustion with the courage to ask for help. Many of you remember Vanessa Behan's early days like this, the White House with a sign out front that read Crisis Nursery, or their second building in the Perry District. It's taken decades of perseverance and millions of dollars in private funding. Now this 32,000 square foot building is ready to serve 60 children, a goal the executive director says all begins with you. This does not happen without our community saying we are doing this and we're doing this together. While they've taken the term crisis nursery out of their name now to be more inclusive, the story of the two-year-old child named Vanessa Behan is a heart-wrenching case of deadly child abuse in Spokane. What would Spokane look like without Vanessa Behan? That's a really, I, I have never been asked that question. <laughs> it almost tear, it makes me tear up, honestly. Um, 
I think we would look at it, be looking at a community where there would be more, more stories like Vanessa Behan. Mm -hmm. um, we would have more child injuries and deaths. Um, we would have more families struggling. We would have more trauma for children um, growing up into a community where their needs aren't being met. Amy Vega says that first call for help and the first meeting with new parents is critical. So this is where we do the interviews, right? Yeah. Studies by JAMA Pediatrics and the American Academy of Pediatrics show rates of child abuse declining during the pandemic, while pediatric emergency room visits for child abuse are significantly higher. Some physicians have voiced concerns that abuse has been vastly underreported. Vanessa Behan serves 6,000 children a year and more than 114,000 in all, but they still have to turn away families every week. I just, yeah, I don't know where we would be. Andrew tells us he works two jobs, and Mariah lives with chronic medical conditions that require trips to the emergency room, sometimes in the middle of the night. There's no clock on. It could be three in the morning, and this place is open. Both parents have relied on Vanessa Behan since their son was just an infant. My son, he's never known a mom that isn't chronically ill. And just being able to know that through all of that, through all of that fear and through all that exhaustion on both our parts, that our son was somewhere safe. Vega says the larger facility can triple the number of children and families they serve, but to meet capacity, they'll have to double their budget. It would be great if we could raise $4 million next year, but we also know that's, that's a big ask. An ask and a bold call to action, reminiscent of its mission from the very start to preserve and protect this safe haven for the children of Spokane. This organization is vital. That we cannot we cannot slack on this this organization. It's it's just here with open arms. And of course, KXLY has been a big supporter of Vanessa Behan for many years. Chris Crocker is joining us now. Yes. She and Robin Nance are going to be MCs for the Pumpkin Ball this weekend, which is one of their largest fundraisers. Uh, yes, I didn't realize four million was the goal, but uh, you know work what? Cut out for you. Uh, let's do it because they're right. There's no more important thing than supporting families in our community. So. Um, now we've got our work cut out for us, Robin, let's do it. Uh, it'll be a good night to be in supporting Vanessa Behan. You won't want to be outside having any fun. Better get that done tomorrow. High temperature of 71. 56 is our average high with hazy conditions tomorrow. I'll be back to tell you about the big changes in the forecast after the break. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by McVay Brothers. My dad was a World War II veteran. The promise we make to veterans to care for them when they return home is personal to me. I've brought senators from both parties together to increase benefits, help more veterans find homes and good jobs, and hold the VA accountable to give veterans the excellent care they deserve. I'm Patty Murray and I approve this message because I'll never stop standing up for Washington's veterans. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. Vote with confidence this November. In Washington, our layered cybersecurity systems, trained officials, and election audits make sure every vote is counted accurately. After you've received your ballot packet in the mail, fill it out and send it back in your signed return envelope. You can also put it in an official Dropbox or submit it in person. Visit votewa.gov to register, find voting locations, and check your ballot status. Okay, get this. This week, I'm heading out, jumping on a plane, landing somewhere in America to help give someone, are you ready for this? One million dollars. <laughs> so who will it be? The one million dollar giveaway. Watch it happen live only on GMA. We voted for Patty Murray four times before. But not this year. Not this time. Prices at the grocery store keep going up. Our 401ks are losing value. We're headed in the wrong direction, 
and we need new blood. It's time for Tiffany Smiley. If we don't find ourselves comfortable enough to make a change, then change isn't going to happen. This isn't about a party. This is about the future of Washington. I think we can do better. Voting for Tiffany Smiley is doing better. I'm Tiffany Smiley, and I approve this message. 73 degrees today, just to show you where our average high is. 56 is our average high. We're going to be a lot closer to this number uh, as we get into the weekend and beyond. It's going to come to a bit of a shock to the system. 37 is our average overnight low. Uh, 556 our sunset time tonight. We are in the 5 o'clock hour. Areas of smoke tonight. You may see our air quality going downhill a little bit overnight. 43 for an overnight night low tomorrow hazy sunshine with a high temperature once again in the 70s will break our own record tomorrow here's a look at our smoke forecast and you'll notice there's not a lot of movement in it the winds are extremely light uh, and will stay light tonight and tomorrow but it will meander a bit and essentially build up. We have high pressure in control that acts like a lid on a pot and it's trapping the smoke at the surface. But well, we're going to blow the lid right off of that pot as we get into the weekend and see some big changes in our weather. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. I haven't needed the radar in a very long time. So there's no returns on this radar, but we do have a big ridge of high pressure keeping the clouds away for now. It's Friday. That is our transition day where we are going to see this cold front moving through. Let's look at Friday. Cold front comes through bringing with it steady rains high mountain snow, accumulating snow in the mountains and a big drop in our temperatures from the 70s down into the 50s and eventually highs in the 40s by the second half of the weekend. The timing on the precipitation looks like the chance is going to come in as early as early evening on Friday. I am sorry to tell our sports team for Friday night football and then continuing overnight Friday into Saturday before tapering off a little Little bit on Sunday. Here's our chance of rain. 30% uh, on Friday. That best chance, however, will be late up to 60 on Saturday and then that tapers off on Sunday. And um, this is nice to see. Uh, this is what we need to uh, put an end to our fire season. Above average precipitation for that 8 to 14 day time period, October 26th through November 1st. If that pans out, that really is the best possible news. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 30s and 40s, still running above average. We've yet to drop into the 30s overnight in Spokane, even though our average overnight low is 37. Highs tomorrow will be above average again. Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, you stayed quite a bit cooler than forecast because of that smoke. You may be in similar territory again tomorrow. That forecast is uh, only accounting for a little bit of smoke. Hazy sunshine through Thursday. There's our big transition day on Friday. Winds pick up Friday night into a windy Saturday with showers more showers right on through the beginning of next week. Kirsten. Such a big difference. Thanks, Chris. Brand new tonight at 6. Tonight the NBA opens up their season and there are almost a dozen former local players on teams this year. Uh, but before we begin, Alex, I know you want to address the big elephant in the room, so take That's the stage. Right. If you were watching last night, we were talking about the AP Top 25 poll where the Gonzaga landed and number two in the polls. And I said that North Carolina was the defending national championships or champions. I was quickly corrected by Jeff Ford, a University of Kansas alumni, who reminded me today that it was indeed the Jayhawks that won the national championship this past season. But while well, Jeff, we you know we like to have a good time here, and we'd like to remind you of the last time that GU and Kansas met back in November of 2020. The Bulldogs took down the then number six Jayhawks down in Fort Myers. Drew Timmy had a game high 25 points. Jalen Suggs had 24. Corey Kispert added 23 of his own as Gonzaga opened up the season in a dominant fashion and went on to play in the national championship that year. We'd also like to remind Jeff that the Jayhawks <laughs> opened up this season tied for fifth in the country behind the Bulldogs. So yes, while you did say I have a little bit of bias in me, you know, that's what the polls that's, say. The uh, polls say Gonzaga's better this year, Jeff. So most under backhanded apology I've ever heard. I mean, he but even like has it. the banner on the bottom. Apologies, <laughs> Jeff. Well, yeah. Well, there's also going to be plenty of 
former Zags and Cougs playing in the uh, NBA this uh, week, including Kispert, Corey Kispert and Jalen Suggs. They're getting their season underway later this week, but I'd be reminisced if I didn't include maybe the best player in this entire region. That's former Washington State University shooting guard Clay Thompson. He's getting ready to start his 10th season and will be the first time in three years he enters the fully healthy. The four-time and defending NBA champion helped lead the Golden State Warriors to their seventh championship in franchise history back in June. And he was still coming off an ACL and Achilles tear that caused him to miss the last two seasons. That's a future Hall of Famer for you right there. Now for the former Bulldogs, Andrew Namehard will be starting off his rookie year with the Indiana Pacers after being selected in the second round of the draft over the summer. Now he's expected to come off the bench to start the year. We're also hoping to see Chet Holmgren at some point this year, but he's going to be expected to miss the entire season after sustaining a leg injury at a Pro-Am game back in August. He was going up against LeBron James on that play. Now he became the highest Bulldog ever drafted after being selected by the Oklahoma City Thunder with the second pick. There's also going to be seven other former Gonzaga players uh, to start the season off on NBA rosters, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Now, Clay and the Warriors, they're going to tip off against the Los Angeles Lakers a bit later on this evening. We'll see if they can defend their title, and I don't think it's too early to say that KXY is the home of the NBA Finals, guys. <laughs> never too early to no, say never that. Too just, early. just remind me not yeah. to uh, point out any mistakes Alex makes in the future. You don't want a banner like that. I don't that. want an apology <laughs> from Alex. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, more programs are coming to help those staying at Spokane's newest homeless shelter. What services will be provided and when coming up next on 4 News Now at 6 o'clock. Download the 4 News Now app today. Deanna Krull has over 20 years of legal experience. As district court judge, Deanna Krull will prioritize safe neighborhoods. Throughout my legal career, I've worked to uphold the law always with community safety in mind. Paid for by friends of Deanna Kroll for Judge. Providence has been focused on meeting the needs of the community for over 160 years. And we are honored to bring you top rated Medicare Advantage coverage. Providence plans start at just $0 and include dental, hearing, and vision. Experience the difference of a community of care united by compassionate coverage. Providence. Join us as we make communities stronger by building true health together. Tiffany Smiley celebrated the overturning of Roe versus Wade. There's no way I can trust her to protect us. Tiffany Smiley would tip control of the Senate to Mitch McConnell. That is a disaster. She could give Mitch McConnell the power to rig the courts with more anti-choice judges. And pass a complete nationwide abortion ban. This is serious stuff. And Tiffany Smiley still supports Donald Trump. No way. No way. No way we can trust Tiffany Smiley. Women voters responsible for the content of this advertising. Don't shop in the cold. r and RV in North Spokane has over 120 RVs indoors at 525 East Francis. Right now, save thousands with huge year-end discounts and clearance pricing. The time to buy is now. Don't shop in the cold. Shop over 120 RVs indoors. Motorhomes, fifth wheels, travel trailers, all indoors at r and RV in North Spokane, 525 East Francis, or online at r and my husband and I have had the harvester for about 13 years. If there's anything you want to know about Spangle, come in and find out at the harvester. <laughs> Avista contacted us about a business partner program to upgrade our lights to LED lights. Between the energy efficient rebates that we got and the grant, it was completely free to us. On our energy bill, we're saving about $500 a month. Everything has gone up, so that savings has been a huge help to the restaurant. I'm Deanna Kroll, running for Spokane County District Court Judge. I've worked on all sides of the courtroom. As judge, I'll prioritize community safety, accountability, and foster success for those ready to accept help. I would appreciate your vote. Paid for by friends of Deanna Kroll for Judge. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. Well, during Monday night's city council meeting, the council voted to approve an agreement with Revive, a local organization that will help get more services on site at the Trent Shelter. The Trent Shelter has been open for a little over a month now. When the shelter first opened, Mayor Nadine Woodward said that eventually she would like to have case managers on site to offer services to help people eventually find stable housing. So far, not many services have been offered, but after Monday night's council meeting, the city says more services are on the way. What's unclear 
clear is when those will start. New at 6 tonight, Bronte Saratsky explains what services will be offered. Things like housing services and addiction treatment services will soon be available to those staying at the trench shelter, although there's no set timeline as to when. The services will include things like employment connections, um, resume or other employment support. Those services will be provided by the Revive Center. On Monday night, the City Council approved Revive as the organization to provide these new services. Now the city is working on getting them a contract to start these services as soon as possible. It'll definitely be this year. Um, it's going to be probably a matter of, of weeks versus uh, longer than that. The city is spending $1.5 million for a one-year contract with Revive and say they expect to get started soon. Last week, people living at Camp Hope started to receive on-site services to get them ID cards and other important documents. The city says they hope to see those services at the Trent Shelter soon. So working with um, people at the Camp Hope as well, so there's a little bit of connectivity there between the two locations as well. Somebody comes in and needs ID, it's a, there's an um, application process for that and a, so there's some assistance to be able to support people through that process and get them back with an identification that's key to housing and key to employment. The city says everything else at the shelter has gone on as usual. I did ask the city if any of these services could be affected by the mishandling of funds by a former Guardians employee. I was told that they will not. Now 4 News Now will continue to follow that story and bring you updates as they become available. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. If you're not looking forward to the colder weather, this might give you an opportunity to want that colder weather. It's the skate ribbon. <laughs> it's returning to Riverfront Park. It's coming back when it's expected to open and how you can save some money at the skate ribbon coming up plus. You've told us accountability in the criminal justice system is important to you this election. Coming up, see how two candidates running to be a new judge say they'll enforce accountability and keep the community safe. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. From refinishing cabinets, doors, and trim to painting walls and ceilings, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting has been Spokane's premier painting contractor for over 50 years. Call Everhart Painting today to schedule a free estimate. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. Democrats in Washington are threatening our way of life. Reckless spending fueling inflation. Shutting down energy production here at home. A push to defund the police. Kathy McMorris Rogers is fighting every day to stop them and protect Eastern Washington, cutting spending to curb inflation, unleashing American energy production, and making sure law enforcement has the resources they need. Kathy McMorris Rogers, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories. Create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. Oh life, we hear you beating out the rhythm of our days. We know you live fully. It's why we pioneer new treatments. Because when it comes to matters of the heart, you deserve world-class health care. Providence, we see the life in you. I seem to be having a problem with my heat. It seems to be making this <laughs> sound. Oh, no worries. We can certainly take care of that for you. At Mainstream Heating and Cooling, we speak your language. Right now, before rates go up, get what you really want. The coolest cars, the most powerful trucks, and the hottest SUVs. Get the max for your money during the Time to Buy event. Zero down, zero payments till next year. Zero cost, max lifetime warranty. 2.9% interest. And get this, $4,000 over KPB for your trade. Plus, get a $250 gas card with purchase. Right now, the Time to Buy event. Hurry in, seven days only. It all ends Tuesday night. Only at Max Auto Sports. From refinishing cabinets, doors, and trim to painting walls and ceilings, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting has been Spokane's premier painting contractor for over 50 years. Call Everhart Painting today to schedule a free estimate. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. Live from downtown Spokane. 
This is 4 News Now at 6.30. As we race towards the midterm elections, we are taking your questions directly to the candidates to make sure you know exactly what they stand for when you cast your vote. Tonight, we have in-depth coverage on two major races that will have a major effect on crime and could shift the balance of power in D.C. We start with the race getting national attention between Republican candidate Tiffany Smiley and incumbent Patty Murray, who's been in office since 1993. Tonight at 630, Jordan Smith sat down with both of the candidates to see how they feel about solving issues you care about. Well, kissing over the past 24 hours, both candidates gave us 15 minutes of their time while they continued their campaigns. Here's where they stand on the issues pressing voters the most, beginning with solutions to repair the economy. Murray remains confident in the solutions presented by Congress la during last year's legislative session. Smiley is ready for a change. We then passed the infrastructure bill so that we could improve our supply chains, fix our roads, our bridges, our highways, and that is now putting people at work and helping with inflation as more goods are brought to market. What I will do is rein in that out of control spending. Um, I will certainly ensure that the new 87,000 IRS agents do not harass our small businesses um, and our hardworking Washington families and permanently extend the 2017 tax cuts for the middle class. Shortly after, we discussed their approach to addressing the homeless crisis across Washington state, where they shared similar solutions. Get somebody into a home and then you give them the wraparound services they need, whether it is job training, whether it's mental health, whether it's drug um, prevention, um, so that they can get stable again. We need to ensure that there is a place that encompasses every resource that they need so they can get the, the rehab that they need, get clean, work on transitional jobs, family reunification, go into transitional housing, look for permanent jobs and permanent housing. And that was just a sliver of our conversations. Both candidates expanded on a multitude of other issues, including affordable housing, abortion, and what's at stake this upcoming election. You can see the full unedited in, uh, interviews on our website, kxly.com. Aaron. Jordan, thank you. New district court judges are also competing for your vote in Spokane County. The court files more than 62,000 cases a year and impacts numerous lives. You told us accountability in the criminal justice system is important to you. Here's who's running for district court judge position three. Jenny Sabone is currently a senior deputy prosecuting attorney. Eric Doyema is the current district court commissioner. Esther Bauer tells us what they want to bring to the bench. I'm here in district court where domestic violence victims, traffic infractions, and misdemeanor crimes all come before a judge. It's a unique court, and two candidates say they're the best to be a new judge. District court is the front porch of our criminal justice system. This is uh, the place that most people in our community are going to interact with. The most serious cases we see in district court are driving under the influence, are your DUI cases and your domestic violence cases. So it makes sense that we would treat those people a little bit differently. Jenny Zappone has worked for a decade in the county prosecutor's office, saying community safety is key to her campaign. What I'm hearing in their community is that they feel that there's no respect for the law and there's no accountability. Eric Doyama is already working closely with the current district judges as court commissioner. He says his job wouldn't change much, but still needs to run in the election. Right now, there, there is no funding for the commissioner position in 2023. Uh, so uh, really to keep the job I have, uh, I, I need to run for judge. They both tell me they'd like to see a special court created for domestic violence victims and a more need-based approach to probation. Let's work with these organizations to hopefully create a probation system that helps reduce recidivism, which helps reduce people coming back through our system. So it's all about community safety, and that's my theme for this election. We want our probation department to focus on the people that need their help the most, the folks that are most likely to reoffend. Um, those are generally the people that need the most help and the most resources. Depone says allocating resources to these lower level crimes can go a long way to reducing criminal activity. Let's intervene early. Let's get 
treatment, let's get that constant supervision so that this doesn't escalate and create more victims in our victims in our community. Doyama also says accountability is important to curb crime. That accountability and that relationship that those folks uh, kind of garner with the court and with probation, it really goes a long way. These candidates are running pretty close in this election. Public disclosure records show Zappone's raised over $68,000. Doyama is just short of that, raising over $66,000. Head on over to KXLY.com to see a full list of who's running to become a new county judge. Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. Well, if you're registered to vote in Washington, you'll start to receive your ballots in the mail this week. Spokane County Elections Manager Mike McLaughlin says Wednesday and Thursday are when the ballots will start to go out. and Voters should expect them in their mailboxes as early as this Friday and Saturday. If you don't get your ballot by next Tuesday, the following Tuesday, just call our office um, and we'll send out a replacement. Or you can go online and check the status of your registration. Well, what's the most common reason people don't find their ballot in the mail? You may wonder, a change in address. You can check your voter registration status and update your information as needed on votewa.gov. In Idaho, the deadline to register by mail or online has already passed, but you can still register in person at your county clerk's office or at your polling place on election day. We want to hear from you. Which races do you care about most and what questions do you want answered? To submit your questions, go to kxly.com slash for the people. Oh, a live look over Spokane, the Veterans Arena and the courthouse and a beautiful sunset. Definitely some smoke on the horizon, giving it that uh, brownish hue, but otherwise skies are clear. And here are four things to know about your weather. There will continue to be areas of smoke for the next couple of days. More 70 degree weather as well. Then we have some major changes that are going to knock these two out of the forecast the smoke the 70s and we're going to replace it with rain mountain snow windy and cool conditions as well big changes coming here's a look at a live picture from Spokane and Coeur d'Alene we're not seeing uh, as heavy as smoke in fact our air quality has actually improved a little bit we're in the moderate range in the 60s in both locations under clear skies here's a look at the air quality around the region it is especially bad in the spots where those wildfires continue to burn in North Idaho, smoke from the Kootenai complex causing problems, particularly around Newport and Old Town. The Cascades also putting out quite a bit of wildfire smoke. A good weekend of soaking rains and cooler weather. And I say a weekend of rain, it looks like our rainy conditions are going to continue even beyond that. In the meantime, though, Another day with sunshine, hazy sunshine, with a high temperature of 71 in your Wednesday forecast. I'll be back with your seven-day outlook and go hour by hour on the timing of Friday's rain. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Around the nation tonight, President Biden is hitting the campaign trail, promising to pass an abortions right law. It would guarantee a federal constitutional right to abortion. And during a speech Tuesday at a Democratic National Committee event, the president said Democrats need control of the House and Senate to make it happen. The only sure way to stop these extremist laws that are put in jeopardy women's health and rights is for Congress to pass a law. And I've said before, the court got Roe right nearly 50 years ago, and I believe Congress should codify Roe once and for all. More than a dozen states, including Idaho, have abortion bans in place, affecting nearly 30 million women. Families with newborns are still struggling to find formula, despite supply increasing over the last few months. Experts say just 18% of powdered formula was out of stock the first week of this month, compared to 30% in July. According to a U.S. Census Bureau survey, nearly a third of households with a baby younger than one said they had trouble finding formula over the course of one week in September. More than 40% said they had only a week's supply or less on hand. 
Well, when it comes to getting promoted into management, men still have an advantage. Women who rise to leadership roles are more likely than men to have their authority undermined and have some of their efforts go unrecognized. That's according to the 2022 Women in the Workplace report from McKinsey and Company. It's a large annual study of women and their employees and talent data across hundreds of companies. Among the employers studied, the report found for every 100 men promoted from an entry-level job to manager, only 87 women are moved up. Overall, 60% of managers were men. The Eastern Washington Eagles are off to their worst start in a decade. Coming up in sports, hear how the players are approaching the final month of the regular season. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Pino's Palette. I've never liked political ads that attack, but with my opponent, we better start tightening budgets to pay for the state income tax that he supports. My opponent believes a tent city has never caused an increase in crime. We can expect more crime, more taxes, and more regulations that make housing more expensive. I support safer neighborhoods, lower taxes, and addressing homelessness and housing. I support you, the hardworking people of Spokane. Vote Kim, please, for County Commissioner. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. If you're looking to remodel, redecorate, or make your home more energy efficient and beautiful, then you should check out the new stylish Carbon Windows from the Coeur d'Alene Window Company. Sold exclusively at McVeigh Brothers Siding and Windows. Tonight. Serial killer Rosalind is dead. We can focus on catching her accomplice. The Rookie crossover event. I will make it my mission to catch this guy. <gasps> Concludes tonight on ABC. Are you a U.S. citizen? Are you 18 or older? Have you lived in Washington State for at least 30 days? If so, you are likely eligible to vote in Washington. Voter pamphlets and ballots are available in multiple languages. Your vote is your voice, and your voice matters. Make a plan to vote. Learn more about eligibility at sos.wa.gov and get registered today at votewa.gov. Flu epidemic, how it hit this high school big time. Next, in Sun Edition, almost half the student body stricken. Did this homecoming dance spread the virus? It was pretty shocking to know that this was just the flu. What you need to know. Then, who would pay 76 grand for this dirty pair of jeans? Where they found these 142-year-old Levi's. Next, in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Updated high temperature today, 72 was our high temperature, compares to an average high of 56, not quite record territory, 76, but a lot closer to a record uh, than to our average high of 56 degrees. Speaking of average high, here is a look at our temperature trend over the next seven days. We have this big dip coming in our temperatures. We've been talking about the cool down, but really we're going to be a lot closer to average than we have been. We're going to be in the 70s for at least one more day, possibly two. Friday will be our transition day. Hard to believe 58 is above average. And then we dip below for the weekend and into early next week. 52 on Tuesday. That is average. Uh, again, it's going to be quite a shock to the system once we have average temperatures considering the month that we have had. It's all due to a ridge of high pressure that is hunkered down over the western United States for the better part of the month. We are going to see a whole scale change in our weather pattern this 
uh, ridge of high pressure will start to flatten a little bit tomorrow, although you likely will not notice with the storm track still well to our north. Then we'll see a more pronounced change as we get into Thursday and Friday is when the cold front comes through, bringing with it the rain and behind that front, a big dip in our temperatures for Saturday and beyond back down a little below average and then back to average. Now, the timing on our precipitation is a work in progress. Uh, this particular computer model, I think, is bringing it in a little bit early, uh, but this far out, it is hard to pin down the timing. I would say, if anything, this is a few hours early, but we're gonna start it off uh, Friday morning at 6 a.m. and watch that rain come in. Wants to bring it in at noon, I'm thinking, late in the afternoon and then keep things going raining hard as we get into Friday evening. I do think we're really going to start to see our rain picking up Friday night, which is fantastic news. You'll also notice some blue on this uh, computer model indicating a transition to snow. Snow levels should stay above the valley floors. If anything, a little bit of snow mixing in in some of the northern valleys, but accumulating snow, you're going to have to go up about 3,500 feet. We're going to get a break Saturday morning, it looks like, but there are more showers coming Saturday during the day and into Sunday, and it looks like the wet weather is going to be around for a while. Here is a look at the 8 to 14 day forecast. We're in the dark green, indicating above average temperatures. Kirsten. Chris, thank you, and it's never too early to start planning fun winter activities, one that should be at the top of your list. I know it was at the top of mine when I first uh, started coming to Spokane, and that's the ice skating rink at Riverfront Park. The ice will be returning to the Numerica Skate Ribbon on November 19th. Now is the perfect time to pick up an unlimited ice pass, and if you buy early, you get 15% off at the Sky Ribbon Cafe. Four tickets to the Loof Carousel and one single-use ticket and skate rental for a friend. We've put a link to bypasses right on this story. You can find it on the front page of KXLY.com. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. It's Bachelor in Paradise at 8, followed by The Rookie Feds at 10. Download the 4 News Now app today. We voted for Patty Murray four times before. But not this year. Not this time. Prices at the grocery store keep going up. Our 401ks are losing value. We're headed in the wrong direction, and we need new blood. It's time for Tiffany Smiley. If we don't find ourselves comfortable enough to make a change, then change isn't going to happen. This isn't about a party. This is about the future of Washington. I think we can do better. Voting for Tiffany Smiley is doing better. I'm Tiffany Smiley, and I approve this message. Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in Liberty Lake or call Keith at 509-499-2601. Here at the Mead School District, energy management, it's been something that's been on the rise as far as what's important to us. The reason why it is, as the budget continues to shrink, we need to do more with less. Yeah, I love Avista. They've been really great to work with. When I have energy efficiency ideas, I get in touch with my rep. They'll go back to their project managers and to the engineers. Avista does a really great job of telling you what the simple payback will be of any of the projects, and then you can make an educated decision on whether you want to move forward. Meet your local essential workers. What I like about the UFCW 3000 is for the benefits that make our lives better. They make sure that we have secured pension and retirement. And I can work uh, part-time and still maintain my health care coverage. I don't see myself going anywhere else because of the UFCW 3000 benefits and wages. Thanks, UFCW 3000. Support local essential workers who live in and support our community. Go to UFCW3000.org to learn more. Democrats in Washington are threatening our way of life. Reckless spending fueling inflation. Shutting down energy production here at home. A push to defund the police. Kathy McMorris Rogers is fighting every day to stop them and protect Eastern Washington. Cutting spending to curb inflation. Unleashing American energy production 
and making sure law enforcement has the resources they need. Kathy McMorris Rogers, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. 4 News Now is brought to you by Factory Rep Blinds. Well, the Eastern Washington football team is a program used to winning, but this season they've been doing anything but that, starting the year off just 1-5 and five and trying to find their identity with a month left in the regular season. Now, one of their biggest problems has come on the defensive end where they've given up 50 points a game during this five-game losing streak. That's almost hard to believe, and that has made it difficult for the offense to keep up. But even players on that side of the ball say they need to start sustaining longer drives throughout the game in order to help the defense out. Um, I just feel like we didn't put enough consistent drives together. We showed pockets of um, times where we played good and then times where we didn't play so good. So it's really just being consistent, putting drives together. I think a lot of the time is we're not helping the defense out and we're leaving them on the field too long. So then we get those uh, deficits of 21 points or 14 points and they're on the field because we play like five run heavy outfits already and that takes a toll on the defense and we're not helping them out uh, sustaining long drives. Now the Eagles will hit the road this weekend as they face off against fellow last place Big Sky team Cal Poly and former Eastern head coach Bo Baldwin who won a championship back in 2010. That feels like a very long time ago. Shifting over to college basketball, yesterday we showed you the men's top 25 and today the women's AP poll was released. While no local teams cracked the top 25, the Gonzaga Bulldogs received three votes. The team finished with 27 wins last season while claiming the WCC tournament title and advancing to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Now entering this year, there's going to be favorites in the conference once again as they get the season underway on November 4th with an exhibition against Western Washington. And after coming off a historic season, the Washington State women also received a single vote in the initial poll. They finished the 2022 season with a program best 19 wins as they made it back, made it to back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments for the very first time ever. They're going to open up their season with an exhibition as well against Westmont on October 30th in inside Beasley Coliseum. I think it's a safe bet. They're going to be going back to the tournament in March. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Next ET, our Reese Witherspoon exclusive talking morning show season three surprises. It's a new world now. Plus, only we're with Andy Cohen taking us behind the scenes of Watch What Happens Live. That's the constant, me and the bars. Then our exclusive in Atlanta with a new cast of The Surreal Life and the man at the center of Jada's entanglement. Do you have a relationship with Jada and the Smith family these days? Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. I've never liked political ads that attack, but we need to bring the facts to light. My opponent believes that Tent City has never caused an increase in crime. With Mr. Jordan, we can expect more crime, more taxes, and more regulations that make housing more expensive. I support safer neighborhoods, lower taxes, and addressing homelessness and housing. I support you, the hardworking people of Spokane, because like you, I'm one of them. Vote Kim, please, for County Commissioner. It's time, time to set your eyes free, free from limitations in your vision, free from glasses and contacts, free to see your best and be your best. It's time to smile. Smile is state-of-the-art laser vision correction, or LVC for short. Smile is easy on the eyes. It's bladeless, flapless, and effortless. Contact Empire Eye Physicians today to learn more about Smile, the new alternative to Lasix. How wild would it be to win $5,000 cash? Join us at Coeur d'Alene Casino as we rev up the winnings with the $100,000 Wild Wheeling Lucky You Hot Seats on select Tuesdays and Thursdays in October. Play with your core rewards card for a chance to be one of 20 players to win a $5,000 jackpot. Get here before they're gone. The $100,000 Wild Wheeling Lucky You Hot Seats, only at Coeur d'Alene Casino. For more information, visit cdacasino.com. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. 4 News Now.
is brought to you by Move Fitness. A not so subtle change to more fall like weather. It's still a couple of days away. Enjoy. Enjoy some sunshine, but that darn wildfire smoke is sort of uh, putting a damper on our last couple of 70 degree days. Hmm. Yeah. I did see it when I was driving in and thought, Chris is going to have words about that. <laughs> I do. I'm just, I have some words I can't say about hey. it on television. Hey, keep it clean, Chris. I do. That's what we say around here. <laughs> yeah. Keep it clean, Chris. <laughs> well, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> Something else. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.